Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1970, where we have 35 moves to collect three ingredients. The problem is uh, there are blockades, specifically this um, popcorn is in our way. And so we need to get the popcorn out of the way so we can use this portal to drop through here and hopefully right down into here. Sometimes we have to deal with the conveyor belt, which can be helpful and can kind of take us off our mark. If I uh, can pop the popcorn, I'll be in a much better place, not only because I removed that barricade without having to kind of slide this over in this very limited field, but also because then I get the resulting color bond that comes from it. So I'm going to work very hard at doing that, but I'm also going to have to take out the licorice and the chocolate and the licorice locked chocolate to make access possible. I don't have a great setup, but I know that I can exit and re-enter and I don't lose any lives. And if I were to bring in boosters, I wouldn't lose any boosters. And I can do that repeatedly until I find the setup that looks good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the recording and I'll meet you back here with a different, hopefully better setup. I'm going to take a gamble on this. I get to pop through some chocolate, which is nice, but I also potentially get to make a color bomb. If a red lands here or here, I'll have a pretty good shot at it. Of course, the conveyor belt can always change things, and um, I will be uh, punching through some of this chocolate, which means the chocolate will be able to grow, but only to recover the spot I remove, because right now the chocolate is bounded by the licorice and then also by the conveyor belt. Let's see if we can get something here, though. Aw, uh, didn't quite make it. Well, it was fun as a shot anyway. And now I'm kind of, I've got awful moves. <laughs> um, let's try to get a reshuffle. Let's make it so that we can't connect anything. I could have arranged it differently so I could connect things, but I thought a reshuffle might help us more. All right, taking out licorice, that's not a bad thing. Making specials. It's not a great special, but actually I'm going to do this just to you match the three to take out the licorice. The more licorice I can get gone, the more success I'll have in the end game getting the ingredients down to the bottom. Ooh, nice. So we're almost through all of the licorice locks even. I've got that set up. That's good. I need to kind of look at the chocolate and try to remove it, but at the same time not forget that the popcorn can present a bigger challenge, and I need to focus on that when I can. Not so much, but if I clear out all of the blockades, I'll have more space to make more things. And then the other thing is to remove the colors that aren't very prevalent. Okay, so I can do a stripe here. Not great, but, ooh, that's nice. But it might line up into something. Make a stripe here. That's aimed at the popcorn. Ooh, that was almost a color bomb. Let's see. I don't have a lot of blue and I don't have a lot of red on the board. So if I can't do anything better, I'll remove the blue and red that's here to concentrate colors down. I could do this. I'm going to wait. I want this green to come around. Although with the chocolate growing, I'm going to do this and hope for the best. There we go. That's what I was looking to do and it worked out. You have to pay attention to where the conveyor belt is going and how it might assist you. And uh, there it took out all of the chocolate for me and got this popped fairly well. There's a possibility I could even move this over now. Uh, I don't know actually. No, because I think I'd need two over here or two up here to do that. So I definitely need to pop that popcorn. So let's look again at the concentrating of colors. Red again, not very prevalent on this board. It changes all the time. But I think it's red and orange I may try to remove. And it's only if I don't have better moves to make. Although sometimes it's hard to tell which is a better move. <gasps> Ooh. If I do this, I think these two line up. They do. I've got two blue aimed here, actually three, because this could go the other direction. 
I don't have really any blue aimed here. I could let it ride a bit, but I, I, I think I need to go ahead and take what's available and see what shakes down. That's a, that's a good um, setup for me now. So there's that one ingredient coming down. I'd love to get those guys together. It would be hard to do, though, on this conveyor belt. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. I didn't look at all of the things that were likely to happen. Well, I'm creating color bombs, and that's taking out colors, and color bombs beget color bombs and other specials, so that kind of worked out, just not as well as I'd hoped, because this is still not accessible to me. I'm trying to get a stripe in there with the red before it left over here, but look what I can do maybe. If I can get a red next to me, here we go. Oh shoot, it left. Well what if I do this? What if I set this up and now I've got it? And now this can come through. I'm going to do this to shift everything downward. I'm trying to get these guys set up. <sighs> I need to get this down past. There we go. If it landed on the conveyor belt, I was concerned that it was going to come all the way around here. But thankfully, I got it down. Very, very fortunate on that. Uh, it's always going to be a combination of skill and luck on this board. Sometimes the board is, you know, 90% luck and 10% skill, but I'd say this is a pretty well, uh, pretty average split, 50-50 between luck and skill. You really need to know how the board operates if you expect the luck to help you out at all on this. And setting up a lucky board in the beginning is really a good way to go. Mine wasn't so lucky. It didn't start out that way. But I was able to use what I had on the board and um, kind of manipulate it to my favor. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.